What was the Christmas star? From comets to supernova explosions. There are many theories, but tonight we're going to get to the bottom of it. What was the star of Bethlehem? Over the years, many astronomical explanations have been suggested for its key aspect to the Christmas story. But tonight, we're going to cover them all. Some of what we know about the star of Bethlehem was originally included in St. Matthew Gospel. And some of it has come down to us in interpretation or embellishment. There is no mention of there being three kings, only magi, wise men, magicians, or possibly astrologers, who left three gifts. Now the Greek word astra or astera generally translates to star, and from which we get astronomy. It can also mean planet, or could refer to other objects such as a comet. Now, there is no mention that the star is particularly bright and it doesn't have significance for anyone other than the Magi. However, over the years, there have been many possible explanations suggested for this element of the Christmas story. Is there an astronomical basis for the star of Bethlehem? Explanation 1. The Christmas star was a supernova or supernova explosion. The idea that the Magi saw a nova or supernova explosion was hinted at by a 17th century astronomer, Johannes Kepler, and has had many supporters since. However, there is no Western record of such an event. Chinese records only have one possible mention of a nova or supernova over the potential time for Jesus' birth. There is also no known supernova remnant, which we would expect to find had there been a supernova at this time. Explanation 2. The Christmas star was a comet. This explanation has its origins even further back in time, dating to early Christian theologian Origen in A.D. 248. Again, Chinese records can be invoked but give no good support apart from the potential 5 B.C. Nova event, which is a little bit too early. One advantage of the comet theory is that comets move across the sky. It has been argued that this fits the interpretation of the gospel that the star moved as directed by the Magi. However, this same argument could be applied to an object moving with the stars if the journey of the Magi took some months most classical depictions of the nativity show the star as a comet. Explanation 3. The Christmas star was a conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. Now, Kepler is also associated with the idea that it was a close conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn that created the star. And we witnessed this last year at Christmas. We covered it on this channel. In fact, it's called the Great Conjunction. And in fact, back in the time of Jesus, there were three Great Conjunctions. When the two planets were close to one another in the sky, but none of these were close enough that they would appear as one object, as it did last year. However, such an event could have been of religious or astrological significance which is what we're leaning towards currently. Explanation four. The Christmas star is simple and just a stationary point of Jupiter. Jupiter in its apparent path across the sky is generally seen to move from east to west across the stationary background. 
due to the relative movements of Earth and the planets, this motion appears to slow and then stop as the planet reaches what is called the stationary point. The planet then appears to move from east to west for some days before again stopping and resuming its west to east movement. Many people know this as retrograde. At the possible time of the birth of Christ in the Bible, one of the stationary points could have occurred when Jupiter was directly overhead at Bethlehem and at the same time of night for several nights. The disadvantage of this explanation lies in the lack of any rarity in the phenomenon, as it would happen every year. Explanation 5. The Christmas star was a conjunction of Jupiter, Regulus, and Venus. One other possibility includes a set of conjunctions of the planets Jupiter, Venus, and the bright star Regulus. In this case, the mythologies associated with the objects become important. Jupiter in Hebrew is known as Siddiq, which is often translated as meaning righteousness. Jupiter is also often viewed as being the king of the planets to the left. Regulus itself in Latin for prince or little king, and Venus is often viewed as a symbol of love, fertility, and birth. As such, the combination of these objects close in the sky could have led to the interpretation of the birth of the king of kings, the big king, the little king, and the mama in the middle. And we think that that, well, is a boom to knowledge because the Christmas star, in our opinion, is a conjunction. And this is proven by the description in the Bible. There is no mention that the star is bright, particularly bright, and no one in the local cities witness this amazing conjunction. It doesn't have a significance for anyone other than the Magi. Now, the Magi are astrologers. And a conjunction of Jupiter, Venus, and Regulus would have been extremely rare and would have explained the king of kings and the birth of the Christ. That's a boom to knowledge. I hope you got something out of the video. It's anyone's guess what actually occurred on this date or if this date actually occurred. But we're doing our best to bring you the Christmas star mystery in terms of science. And we think at the channel that it was the alignment of Regulus, Venus, and Jupiter that led to the boom. And the new king, the king of kings. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people and be safe. We love you. Mm -hmm.